What goes on guys, we're back here again with yet another review and today we're taking a look at something that I didn't know was even like out. I, I was looking for it in stores and never hit, kind of forgot they existed and then I saw McFarlane Toys website, I could get them both for 25 bucks together. So like twelve fifty a piece, yeah, I'll take that. But anyway, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new, I guess, McFarlane Toys: The Legend of Vox Machina, Amazon Prime Video exclusive, Keyleth and Vaxilden, or I'm just gonna be calling them Vax for the video. And oh man, I really, really love this show. Season two just came out, and I haven't watched it yet. I'm actually, I actually have it on the TV right now, but I wanted to. I'm actually, I have time to record right now, so I definitely want to get that done. Yeah, so I really, really enjoyed the show. And Keyleth was one of my favorite characters. I really like the way, um, like, I like her power set. It's just kind of always been my thing to be, like, the nature kind of guy. So I do really like her power set. Um, I think she was very powerful in a very key role in the beginning of the first season. Uh, so I'm very happy to see that she's here. I also like that Vax and her kind of released together because of the whole relationship thing. But um, if you're interested, there is a read-up on the back you can pause it when it comes around uh so there's that there is the barcode for her if she ever does decide to hit stores and then vax is pretty much all the same stuff so um wave one was percy and vex and i thought they were great figures i have a review of them up on the channel now so if you're interested in them and you're just watching the show now go check out that video um i really do think you'll find it of interest but i'm nervous guys I really don't think we're going to get the other characters. I really want to see this team. I, I want, especially Scandlin, bro. Oh, it'd be so sick. Do them in a two-pack, like a $30 thing or something, and put him as a mega fig, and I won't ask for anyone or anything else. Please, 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 please do that. I'd be a very happy collector, but... There's this read-up just in case, and then the barcode if you need that as well, but... Without further ado, I've been waiting on these for a while, so let's go ahead and pop them open. So, getting these two out of the package, they're very cool figures. I mean, there's nothing crazy about them, and, you know, they definitely feel like McFarlane figures. Um, a lot of people like to complain about that, but I think they're pretty solid. And again, maybe it's just my love for the show and my desire to get the last three members of the team. I, I, I think it's Sprite. Scandal, Sc Scandlin, and I always forget the big guy's name, Kor or Gore. Um, I really, really hope that we get them. But taking a look at Vax first, just because I think I like Keyleth a little bit more. Um, the head sculpt on him is okay. It's not fantastic. I mean, relaying that animated style in action figure form is always a little bit difficult. I would say that the skin tone is a little bit dark on him, and on camera he comes up as kind of grainy, and then in person he is a little bit too. The big uh, fur over vest thing is nice. He got his hair. It is pretty soft, the pointy ears and stuff. Can't wait to get him next to his sister. Unfortunately, I don't have her with me right now, but I do like the bands around the arms. They're painted nice. There's a lot of paint on these figures. I mean, originally I think they were 25 rather than 20 for McFarlane figures, um, so it's nice to see that they put a little bit more paint for a higher price point. The... Um, the browns look good. Uh, you do get the green on there, and then the banding for the shirt looks nice. Again, the, the wraps on the other arm are nice. You do get, like, a darker black on there. The cape is textured and very soft. I mean, obviously, it kind of gets blocked by the top of the fur there. And then even paint on the back with the, the sheaths for his knives are... I don't know if it's a sheath. Yeah, I guess it'd be a sheath, right? Um... This leg, unfortunately, is super warped, so I'm definitely going to heat that up and get that in there. But the top of the boots are painted nice. You get a darker black for the bottom boots, or the bottom of the boots. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty basic. There's not much to talk about. There are, is, like, a little bit of a texture all over the place, though. And in the show, you don't really see that, especially with, like, seams and stuff. So I like when McFarlane adds a little bit of oomph to their figures, right? So in terms of accessories, Vax is going to come with three of his signature knives. Um... Now, really, he can only hold two in his hands, obviously, and then you can put them in the sheath. They're all identical. I love the way that they molded them in the bright gunmetal gray uh, color. She can get him to hold them pretty good. I always like when characters with knives hold them, like, backwards, like, shh. It's a little loose in this hand. Actually, no, it's not. I'm sorry. 
looks pretty damn cool. But if you don't want them in his hands, or if you have two of them in his hands and you want to store the other one, you can just put it in the back. But unfortunately, they did that stupid ass thing where they don't make the, the whole sheath and they only do half of it. I absolutely hate that. That's something that I hate when McFarlane does. They do it with their DC figures, especially with their one on one figures. It's so stupid. What are you saving yourself? Like three quarters of a cent for a figure? Like, come on now, please. That's so dumb. But anyway, articulation wise, the head is just pretty much going to rotate. He'll look down a little bit, up, not so much, and then pivot, which is nice. So the pivot's good and it, it's enough for Vax. I mean, I kind of do wish he would look up a little bit more. He's a little bit of an acro acrobatic character. And then the shoulders go upwards that far, down, they pivot back and forth a little bit. They'll only go upwards that far and back not so much. You're definitely not getting them in the pose on the back of the box because of this upper piece. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and then the wrist swivel and hinge on the ball hinge. You can put them any which way you'd like. Then you got the diaphragm joint. He'll crunch forward, not very much. Back, it's like a skishy overlay that doesn't really help much. So, eh, what are you going to do? Rotates or swivels at the, at the waist. And then the ankle or the, the hips go out that far. He'll kick forward, back, no thigh cut at all. He's not moving, which kind of sucks. Whatever. Double jointed knees that are kind of ugly. And then the ankles go down, up, and pivot. And then a toe hinge. You can get like the super pivot if you move it too. But yeah, I'm not I'm not in love with the articulation on him. I think he looks good. Um and again, maybe I'm just happy to have the character and happy that some company picked up this line. I kind of wish NECA did it. I think NECA would have killed it. Or even Hasbro. I think Hasbro would have done it. But Hasbro wouldn't do a, an edgier show like this. But it is a nice figure. It's just, I wish the articulation was a little bit better. Keyleth, on the other hand, I think is a little bit better. I really like the bright green for her because the other three figures were very mundane in color, nothing crazy to them, but she's got brighter skin tone, brighter um, hair, brighter clothes, so she looks nice. I really do like the head sculpt on her. I think it looks better than Vax's, the little antler tiara thing, and then her ginger hair looks nice. Again, it's a little, like, granular. I don't I don't know why it's like that, but I do like the shoulders um, being skin tone, and then they go into her gloves. Looks nice with the fingerless gloves. I like that. I like all the paint on the gloves and things like that. You get the gripping hand, and the little paint even on the zipper there. It's like the only spot you see that color, so unless it's like maybe supposed to be like the little collar piece to her. I, I don't know. It looks nice either way. And then the greens look great. So you get the dark green, you get the, the middle green, and the light green. They paint it all good. The strap on there looks good all the way around, all the way to her dress. And then I believe the legs are reuse from Vex. I could be wrong, but it's been a while since I've played with that figure. But they might be. They look similar. If not, they work either way. I, I only noticed it once I pulled her out of the box. Uh, the top of the boots are painted good. And then you get, like, her little uh, pants underneath, I guess, because this is, like, the boot and then those are the pants. It looks good. I, I it's it's the bright colors that are doing it for me and then as far as accessories go she only gets one but she comes with her essential staff some effect part would be cool put her in some nature scenes but the little gem is uh painted nicely and then there's no other paint to speak of the sculpt is there it's just nothing really to speak of or write home about in terms of paint and then you get the the staff in her hand and it looks good so you can get her yeah, an effect part would have been nice, but I definitely got like some green effect parts that I can put on there, some nature pieces. Oh, by the way, they each come with a stand. Whoop de doo, who cares? Whatever. But go ahead and talk about her articulation. The head's not really going to go up, it'll go down, pivot side to side, and rotate. So, other than looking back, I think it's perfectly fine. Shoulders go up, down, rotate 360 little bit of pivot back and forth, nothing crazy. And then the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and then the wrist have the ball hinge. You can put that whatever way you'd like. The waist is pretty limiting. There is a joint under there, but it's really not going to do much. It's, it's ultimately pointless. It shall swivel at the waist, however, and then splits down, kick forward, back. No thigh cut at all. Like, she's not even going to remotely twist. Double jointed knees, the ankles go down, up, pivot, and then a toe hinge. So... I'm fine with her articulation being like this because she's not a super acrobatic character. Like, yeah, she can fight, but she's definitely magic reliant. So I think that it looks better um, or it, it's more acceptable in a character like her. Now, in terms of scaling, I mean, 
if they fit in their own line, that works for me, and I and I definitely think they do. But just to get a size reference, here they are next to the Zach Toys team. You have the Jazz Rush Fortnite Series Peely, and then the NECA Silly Kong. You also have the Pizza Spider-Man mold from Hasbro in the shape of Darwin, and then the McFarlane Toys uh, DC Multiverse Dark Knight Returns Batman. So they look fine next to them. And then, of course, the channel mascot. We gotta get them next to Zombie Cap. They are seven inch scale figures, where Zombie Cap is a six inch scale figure. So obviously they're a little bit bigger than him, but I think that that works perfectly fine, and I don't really care. So some of you out there are probably wondering, Yo, Amp, what do you think of these figures? And I gotta say, guys, they're pretty awesome. Um, they are definitely weren't like the highest thing on my radar as uh, Keyleth Falls. They weren't the highest thing on my radar. But I was waiting for them. I was checking around, and I was kind of just waiting for them to drop. Kind of forgot they existed, and then I saw McFarlane Toys. It was a bundle, 25 bucks for the pair. Fortunately, oh my god. Unfortunately, you had to pay for the shipping. Um, and shipping these days is absolutely outrageous. So uh, I wound up, I guess it was like more like 35 40 for the pair. But even still, that's less than what they were. And you know, now they're in my collection, and I don't have to worry about it. So... I was fine with that, but I do like them. I definitely like Keyleth a little bit better. It's probably due to her coloring. She keeps falling, so I've had enough of that, but um, yeah. So either way, they are pretty solid figures. I'll go ahead and give them each a 6 out of 10. I think the articulation really brings them down, and sometimes the aesthetic is a little weird, like Vax's head. The more I look at it, the more I'm not like super big on it, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear it. But with that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. So if you've not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post a lot over there and have a lot of fun. And I'm sure you all will too. But as always, let me know. You copping? See you guys in the next one. Peace.